Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Well, you know, people are always calling us and telling us about events that are happening in our communities. And, you know, as you know, if you watch a program, we cover a lot of events. And every once in a while, an event comes across our desk that is so unique that we just have to tell you about it. And this one really qualifies for it. And joining me today is a frequent guest here, Kim Harvish, who's educator. <laughs> Educate all <laughs> for the Chapman Museum in Glens Falls. And we have Sandy Rhodes, who is, uh, boy, that's kind of hard to describe what you do. You're involved with the Glens Falls <laughs> Community Theater. You're a volunteer at Chapman Museum. You're a reenacting, reenactor actress. What else yes. do you do? <laughs> that's a lot um, of stuff. <laughs> I do cakes and, uh, and oh, I'm you know, I should have guessed that. <laughs> and look, the event is called the Living Theater. At Pine View Cemetery. Now, if the name alone doesn't intrigue you, wait till you hear what happens. Um, I'm going to start with, with you, Kim. Sure. A very interesting name, Living Theater at the Pine View Cemetery. Right. Okay, so what's this about? And, and if for anybody who's followed us for 17 years and know that we have an annual cemetery tour, mm -hmm. we decided to rebrand it this year because it truly is theater more than it is a tour through the cemetery. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're, we really are excited to bring, and we feel very honored actually, I think all of us working on the project, to bring people's stories to life. Now, did the, uh, do you change the name because the people in the cemetery complained? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of curious. You know, they tend to be pretty quiet, but once in a while you every, get under every there. Now and then, you know. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> um, so check this out. They, they go through, they put a research committee together. They go through Pineview Cemetery, they spot different people, they research them, and like it's really true, everyone has a story. Absolutely. And in the process of uncovering the stories, it, it must be pretty powerful stuff, right? What do you find out about people? It is. It's incredible. And, you know, of course, we're focused on women this year because of the, the centennial oh. anniversary of our right to vote in New York State. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so we, we hear about the suffrage movement in school, we read about it yeah, in the sure. books, but to to um, to research these women who lived in Glens Falls, mm -hmm. you know, these, these brave women who raised their families and, and worked here in Glens Falls and were part of the movement, that's exciting. Oh, yeah, yeah I, 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 it's, a, it's such a great concept, I can't believe it, really. Um, so, uh, again, uh, 1917, the year that women in New York State won the right to vote, and uh, this is a centennial celebration of that movement. And uh, so it's all women this year. Usually it's men and women, but That's you decided right. to focus on and all there, women this year. And there are one there, man. Yeah, there is. Oh, there is one man this right. year? Oh, okay. <laughs> but he's, they, he's, he's oh, I don't qualify. <laughs> he's a husband. <laughs> yeah. right. uh, so tell me give, me, give us a sense of what you found out about people. Because sometimes you were saying that people will come to you. Right, and, and we yeah. do exactly what you said. We'll walk through the cemetery and try to get names and, and some dates that we know we might find interesting. But we also have people that contact us. One of our stories this year, and I, and I do want to point out that not all of them are suffrage stories this year. Yes, right, but, sure. But they're, yeah. they're all really interesting. And uh, so this woman brought us uh, her family history. Um, so we, a lot of times we get community members that come and tell us about stories. One of our stories, uh, one of our women this year, we found in a newspaper article as I was oh, doing wow. research about something else. Right. Um, and so, you know, we're always, we always have our tuned into where we can find stories and, and we love it when people bring us stories, so. Oh, sure. Now, when they find the story, then a script has to be written. That's what Sandy did this year. Was writing the, oh, no, not this well, year. I didn't write them. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> I remember you saying that. Too. Well, you do have writers yes. who then come up with a script, then you, as an actress, dress in a period clothing and tell the story of that person. Yeah, well, I, I, as a coordinator, I distributed those scripts to directors and directors choose their actors. And, and so that's where they're, they're at right now. The directors wow. and the actors are working together to, to um, 
rehearse their scripts. And right. Now, uh, it's the 23rd this year. What day of the week is that? Saturday. That's a Saturday. Saturday the 23rd. And you know, pay attention uh, because the tour times, they start at 10 in the morning. There's another one at 1 in the afternoon. And if, you're having, if you have a disability or you're unable to walk through the cemetery, they have the golf cart tours which start 10.15 and 12.15. And as Kim was telling me, this is the 17th year that they've done this. So they sell out pretty quickly. So if you're interested in taking a walk through the cemetery and watching some living theater and see some stories come back to life, Oh, it's, uh, this one really is pretty spectacular, right? <laughs> and, I, and I do want to mention there are six walking tours. Oh, okay. It, yeah, so, and they've, they're about an hour and a half each, so. Okay, and the first one kicks off at, at 10, 10 in the morning. 10. Right, and got it, okay. the last one's at 1. And the last one is at 1. Right. All right. Uh -huh. So there are plenty of opportunities. It's like 12 bucks, and the money goes, it's kind of split, isn't it, mm -hmm. between the Chapman Museum yes. and between the Community Theater and Glens Falls. Just one last thing, uh, Sandy. Uh, you usually kick off, the community theater does a performance late fall, right? Yes. What have you got going on? Oliver. Oh, wow. Tomorrow is our general meeting and auditions are Thursday. Wow, boy, that's a big undertaking, Oliver. Yes. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. And uh, what have we got? Stoddard, uh, the exhibit, Stoddard exhibit ends, I yes, think, the end of this month. Yes, don't miss it. It's, yeah, it don't, ends the end of this month. Don't miss it. If you should right. see this, the, the works. Um, and then moving forward. What, what have we got coming up at the chapel? Well, we have our suffrage convention, our 1900 suffrage convention happening on September, uh, excuse me, October 21st. October 21st. At the First right. Baptist Church. Got it. And, and you always check their website out to see what's going on. And Facebook. Yeah, and Facebook. Almost also on Facebook, yeah. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook? What's Facebook? <laughs> well, Sandy, great to meet you. Great to have you in again. It's always well, so much fun much. when you come in. And don't forget, it's a living theater at Pine View Cemetery Tour. It's Saturday, the 23rd of September. Plenty of opportunities to go starting at 10 in the morning and it's 12 bucks and learn something really colorful about our local history. Speaking of colorful, it's Balloon Fest weekend. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. So you go in the morning and see the balloons take off and then you come and... And, and visit the dead. <laughs> <laughs> living theater, living, living, living. <laughs> Great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank to you. see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.